What if I told you that updating your graphics card drivers could get you banned from your favorite game? Well, that's exactly what happened to some unlucky AMD users who tried to play Counter-Strike 2 with the latest Adrenaline drivers. Hey y'all, it's Gameplay Me. Meow, meow, meow. And while I explain to you the reasons why this whole thing happened and what exactly happened, I'm going to be playing CSGO using those drivers. Well, that would be what I would say, but CSGO recently added a new update that made it where you can't actually play the game with Everybody those drivers, and you're forced to upgrade up, like, like, in order to play. <laughs> so, there goes the main idea of my video, but it can still be informational on what exactly happens. We'll do that instead. Fuck. Well, while I'm dead, the AMD 23.10.1 drivers were actually overall pretty good. They made it to where games like CS2 and Mirage ran silky smooth compared to before. Especially for me, I couldn't even play CS2 before without it lagging very strangely. It would be running at like 100 on the FPS, but it would dip to like 20 for no reason. But we don't care about the good parts. We want to focus on the driver drama. The issue starts with a new feature called Anti-Lag Plus. For 7000 series GPUs. What's Anti-Lag Plus? Basically it's a feature that allows for lower latency when gaming. It does this by attempting to align frames within the game code itself unlike Nvidia's technology reflex. Nvidia works with specific game developers to integrate latency reducing tech into the game. Y'all wanna try for Aegon? Yeah yeah, I was just about to say that. Babe, we're on the same way. I agree, I agree. Yeah, Tom. Damn, this fucking wine is older than I am. CT. No one graveyard. Both of these technologies have pros and cons for AMD. Making the technology a driver based one allowed them to have it run on basically any game, cutting out the need to work with developers. Normally, this would be a great thing because it means thousands of games would support it, but in the case of CS2, we have an issue. As I said earlier, Anti-Lag Plus changes the game code itself to achieve better latency. Specifically, it changes the DLL files. DLL files are dynamic link library files. These files hold data and programs that multiple other programs can run simultaneously. In the case of CS2, these DLL files store game engine code. This is a problem, because one way CS2's anti-cheat works is by monitoring for modified DLL files. This is because a lot of cheat software wants access to these files, which they can then change to modify the game and give the cheater the advantage. So you can see how this is a problem. Now, me personally, I love the Scout. It's one of my favorite guns. It's a gun I prefer using most of the time. Doesn't really help when they don't pick up. That was not financially responsible. Fuck. An app sandwich. Did they like update the blood the way it like it flies through the air before it lands on the ground now? It's kind of <coughs> I don't really pay attention to that. Oh uh, yeah, I know you're same. At the blood splatter. You have some sort of blood thirst. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? How am I? What? How am I missing these? What? Do you have a smoke? Can you do smokes? Nice. We are going to do this. Nice. For all you noobs out there. I'm about to demonstrate the art of the trade. And this concludes our demonstration. They might rotate. I'm gonna move it. Play safe for nice shot, really. please. Orange, you good by yourself? Oh, hold on. Eps. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Flashback. I'm 
leaving orange. Ah, fuck. Can't shoot fast enough. He's in okay. um, graveyard. T bomb. Bomb has been planted. One dark. I think last one's back right. Yeah. yeah. Dark. Nice! nice. Oh, nice G -G. Let's fucking go, boys! Now I will demonstrate the art of generosity. You guys want an AK? I do. If you don't mind. This guy's a fucking thief. I'm watching long. Ooh. Sexy. Anybody else want an AK? I'll take it if you don't want it. I'm on a scout fiend right now. He's out. Darn B. I am never using the scout again. I'm suspecting gamers were just randomly vac banned because the anti cheat dot anti lag plus was a cheating software. Now, is this AMD's fault for releasing a driver without fully testing whether it would play nice with the anti cheats of popular game titles like CS2, Warzone, and Apex? Or is it Vile's fault for not having a more robust anti cheat system? Yes. Call me on the Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm gonna um, be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Smokes and flashes on B again. Holy shit. This is a listen to how to be a masturbator. Get your hell together on me at that way. You can rotate B. You say yeah. Two. I think them. I think them. Two. I'm falling back. I'm falling back. <laughs> They're both still here. I'm I'm the best baiter. I am literally a master baiter, bro. <laughs> what the? Here, one caught, one caught. Lay down the call. Shit. He's on the tree. Long tree. Fuck yeah, dude. You're a beast. Alright guys, and that's it for this video. All in all, the anti-lag plus feature was a big mistake, but for me, the drivers are actually just really good. Before these drivers, I had the random stuttering when I played CS2, but now the game runs buttery smooth, no problem. So, you know, sometimes you gotta ban a few gamers to get a smooth frame rate. Anyway, that's all y'all. This dumbass forgot to ask you guys to like and subscribe, so please do that.